So as I touch things on the screen, my phone just changes the contrast. So it kind of bleaches out the background if that makes me look good. But if I make the background look good, then it darkens me up. So I can make the background look good and save money on tanning beds? <laughs> Word. Hey everybody, Dan here. So keeping with the theme of answering popular questions that I get in the comment section, um, the first question, I'll link to it up here, that video, uh, was um, mixing bleach. Always very popular question with, with, uh, with y'all and new viewers and stuff like that. The next question I always get is, um, how do I grow my business? How do I how do I add clients? How do I pick up lawns or how do I pick up pressure wash clients and stuff like that? Well, isn't that everybody's question in everything? I mean, Home Depot wants to know how to get people in their door, you know, and they spend millions and millions of dollars on advertising budgets. But I can tell you it's really easy for us with the industry that we're in because our clients are repeat customers. Um, you know, you might get a once in a while cleanup but for the most part, our clients are repeat customers. We're coming back every two weeks to cut their grass or we're gonna pressure wash their house every six to 12 months. And you know, we're gonna cut them a little bit of a deal in order to get that to happen. You know, a one-time deal, something like that, you know, you cut the yard for 50 bucks, maybe $55. Um, but, and I'm talking, you know, a standard size yard that you see me doing in my videos. Now, if you got acres and stuff like that, then you have to charge accordingly. Um, but. Uh, for just your standard size yard, you know, so if you would say like, oh man, I want 50 or 60 bucks all day long. Well, you know, you say to the customer, well, I mean, is this a one-time thing? Okay, 60 bucks. Is this going to be once a week? Okay, 45 bucks. Is this going to be every two weeks? Okay, 50 bucks, you know, and, and you can kind of make it that way. And if they're like, ah, oh, 50 bucks is too high. Well, then you got to kind of weigh it out and say, well, I'll give up five bucks to secure a $90 contract a month, you know, every two weeks. So 45, 45. All right, so that's up to you. That's that's kind of how you can work your deal. But how are you going to get these people to even contact you in the first place? And that's where I come in. That's where I'm a special to, a specialist at this. And I've grown my business, my, my side hustle business, to a full time business in less than half a season. And it was more than four hundred dollars a day solo work, and I was only working from eight to maybe two thirty, three o'clock um, mowing. So. I had a lot of time off too to take care of those little things that need to get done like sharpening blades and changing oil and, and doing the stuff like that. Um, I ran my business, my business didn't run me. So how did I do that? Okay, marketing is the key. And what you gotta do is you gotta let the customer know or, or the potential client know exactly what you're doing. So when they, when they hear you in the neighborhood and you know this to be true because you do the same thing. You hear a noise, you're sitting down watching TV or you're, you're laying in your bed on a Saturday, nine o'clock in the morning and you hear a noise outside the windows and you're like, what the hell is that? And you look out the windows and you start peeking and you see something going on. You see a guy or two and you see a, a work truck and you're like, what, what are they doing over there? Hey honey, what are they doing over there? And you don't know because you see a great big fat logo and you see big old words of, you know, something, something LLC and you're like, oh, okay. Uh, the Schumacher uh, company is here. Oh, well, what are they doing? Well, I don't know. Um, it looks like, I don't know. I can't really tell. They're on the other side of the trailer or whatever, you know, and you don't know. And it might be a service that you could use and you don't even know what those people are doing and they're right across the street from you, you know? And it's like, so when you think about that, think about it from your perspective, think about it, not just from your perspective, but from a potential client's perspective. Do they know what you're doing and how can you make sure that they do and that's how your advertising needs to be with your lawn trailer or your pickup truck or or you know your door magnets your mobile detail whatever you got to make sure that the first thing that everybody sees is exactly what you're doing and that's going to pique their interest so it's going to say lawn service lawn care lawn maintenance pressure wash, house wash, um, general contractor, roof repair, mobile car wash, uh, mobile detailing, whatever it is that you do, you're gonna make that big and in lights, as big as you possibly can on the side of your trailer or the side of your vehicle or on your door magnets. Not your business name. 
because nobody cares what your business name is and not your logo because nobody cares how much time and effort you put into your logo. In fact, the bigger your name and the bigger your logo, the more expensive you look and the more afraid people are gonna to be to contact you because they're negative Nancy's and they already know they can't afford you. In their mind, they can't. Or they'd have already hired you or they'd have already hired somebody else. So they already have that you know, going against you. So put it out there, put it in lights, as big as you possibly can. This is what I'm doing. Hey, this is what I'm doing in your neighborhood as big as you possibly can and door magnets. Do two door magnets if you have to and butt them up. I got videos and I'll try to link to them up here to Vistaprint. I teach you exactly how to make door magnets and um, business cards. It's too easy, all right? As big as you possibly can, what exactly it is you do. Lawn service, all right? Well, let's just stick with lawn service or let's stick with pressure wash, uh, those two industries, because that's my industry. Did we just get darker? Hang on, watch this. I think I look good. What if I hit here? Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's wild. I'll go back to touching me. Ooh, I touched me. Um, so as big as you possibly can, what it is that you do. The next thing, the as big as you possibly can, how they can contact you, okay? Again, they don't really care that you're licensed and insured. They don't really care of all the little subcategories that you do the little you know, lawn care, lawn maintenance, property maintenance and all that stuff. And then you have your tiny little words all underneath it and it takes up all the space. So you got big, big giant freaking Mc, Mc, McCarmichael McCormick thingamabobs. I'm trying to be a generic name here. You know, as big as possible LLC. And then you got specializing in and you got a thousand little things that you know, nobody can see. They got their phone and they're on super zoom, 40 optical zoom on their phone trying to read the fine print on your little door magnets and they can't and so it's lost in the sauce and you drive away or they drive away or they just shut their blinds because they're tired of hurting their eyes as big as you possibly can what it is you're doing the next thing as big as you possibly can the phone number for them to contact you all right number one number two the third thing is try to put a general price right there in their face most lawns whatever 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 45 bucks. Um, house wash. Uh, most homes, 250. Or most homes, 150, right? Depending on the area where you live, the Northeast, people are getting 350, 400 for a house down here, they could barely get 100 for. So it, you know, because it's so seasonal up there and we can wash pretty much year round here. So it's a lot different. But in your area, you want to try to put a general price. It could even just say um, most homes 150 and then real small per thousand square feet. But at least it'll say that 150 and they'll be like, oh honey, look, house wash for 150 bucks. And then there's your big ass house wash, pressure wash, your big ass phone number and boom. And they're snapping a picture of your trailer or of your door magnet and then they're calling you. And they're saying, well, 150 bucks, I can do that. And then they can say, you know, hey, how much is uh, how much is it? 150 bucks? You say, yeah, for a thousand square feet, how big's your home? You got them on the phone. All right, as long as you're in that general price range, then everybody's gonna be the same price. So if they can't afford it, they can't afford it. But you got them on the phone. Now it's up to you to sell them. So you got them on the phone, now you sell them, right? But the biggest thing is, is getting them on the phone. Dudes, there's companies that pay millions of dollars a year just to get people to walk in the door or, you know, to get them on the phone, telemarketers and stuff like that. You can do it with a cheap $20 sign door magnet and you can get them on the phone. Big as you possibly can what you do, big as you possibly can the phone number, big as possibly you can about the price. Now I understand it's not easy to do uh, because you might be in areas where there's like lots of different size properties and stuff like that you have to try to find a general price you it's key okay it's the only way you're going to be able to do this without spending a thousand dollars a month I'm maybe exaggerating but I might not be um, on fuel driving around to give free estimates um, it's great to give a free estimate don't get me wrong and there's there's a time and a place for it 
But wouldn't it be great if somebody just called you up and said, hey, um, $45 to do my yard every two weeks? Sounds good to me. When can you start? Done. Done. You didn't. It didn't cost you anything except that yard sign. But by the time the 10th or the 11th person called you, don't you think you paid for that yard sign? And you didn't spend a dollar in gas. Uh, because Or not yard sign, but the doormat. But also, a yard sign is, is the next thing we'll get into. So that's the biggest thing. I'm going to say it again. What you do, about how much you charge, and how to contact you. If you can have those three things, those big three things, easily seen, easily recognized, your business is going to grow even just on accident. People are just going to see it. They're going to like it and they're going to want it. Then you can answer the phone with your fancy name. And then on your letterhead of your maintenance contract with them, if you do one or your invoice, you can have a fancy logo. Okay. So, um, door magnets or like on the side of your trailer or something like that is the easiest way to go. The next thing is yard signs. Get the yard signs made out. Again, I link to the videos uh, in this video. I link to it, and I'll link to it uh, probably in the comment section or something to help you out how to do this stuff on Vistaprint. Your yard sign should look like your trailer, should look like your door magnet. What you do, how to contact you, and about how much you charge. Um, put a yard sign either standing up in the bed of your truck as you're working, so as people go by, they can snap a picture of it real quick. Um, Put a yard sign at the beginning of a neighborhood where you might be doing a pressure wash. So when people see you pressure washing and they're like, oh man, you know, and they think about it, by the time they get to the exit of their neighborhood and they're about to hit the main road, boom, there's your yard sign right in their face, right across the street, pointing right at them saying, hey, house wash, um, phone number, uh, most homes, 150, and then per thousand square feet, uh, something like that. The next thing, is business cards and with business cards same thing but you have a little bit more room because now it's on in their face so now you can add a little bit more fine print you can put your name on there but real big lawn service uh, most yards 40 bucks or 50 bucks depending on the neighborhood um, your phone number real big licensed insured and then you can add to it additional services available and then boom, there you go. Hedge trimming, tree trimming, whatever else you do. That card's in their face. That's nice. That's that's a that's something easy for them to look at. And you know, if you really want to be smart about it, instead of doing business cards, you do the business card magnets. And you can get those on Vistaprint. And they can put it on their refrigerator and hold up their grandkids' pictures. And then one day they might need you. Trim a tree, hurricane comes, they need something done, or they just break their lawnmower or they are just tired of the lawn service they have and boom there you go and with that you don't knock on doors you don't bother anybody you just run up and you slip it in the, the crack of their door jam you don't knock you don't bother you don't nothing you just slip it in the crack of their door jams be very careful of hoas and soliciting rules and stuff like that know your you know know the area that you're in and your bylaws but that was a fantastic way for me to grow my business I mean, I could get a thousand business cards for like nine bucks and then I would get probably 10 to 15 customers from those business cards over the course of a month. And I mean, you're talking about going from zero to a full side hustle in 30 days and you're making, let's say 10 yards and you got 50, you're making $500 a month. Now you just, you're paying for your you know, most of your car payment, hopefully all of your car payment or whatever. Now you have $500 coming in that you can go and finance a walk behind or a zero turn for 150 a month and still have extra money and now start cutting your work down or something, know, whatever, that's up to you. But the key to the video is, hey Dan, how do I grow my business? Well, you gotta tell them what you do, how to contact you and about how much you'll charge. If you do that, whether it's door magnet, side of your trailer, yard sign or business card if you follow that simple basic rule i promise you your business is going to grow and that's it guys there is no magic there's nothing else now you want to get into like facebook marketplace and stuff like that where you can advertise your business 
I'm all for that. Everything, everything and anything. Um, I don't know if Craigslist ads is still a good way to do it. I mean, that Craigslist has gotten kind of shady. Um, you know, like Angie's List and those, those companies like that, like those apps, I'm not into that. I'm not into that at all, never have been, but there are people that, that have had success with it and hey, more power to you as long as it's free. Um, because my method, besides buying the business card or buying the door magnet or buying the yard sign and then you don't have to buy them again unless some shithead steals your yard sign, um, is proven it's cheap as hell and every penny you get is your penny. You don't have to go through an app or something like that where they skim the top or something. You know what I'm saying? So follow that simple basic recipe, guys, and I promise you your business is going to grow like hotcakes. And hey, if you can find an area where they're putting up multiple homes in one area, most of the yards are going to be the same. You could blanket uh, market them with most lawns 40 bucks or most lawns 50 bucks and boom 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 and you don't have to go out for estimates or anything like that and hey you get five or six in one little neighborhood you go out on a saturday you spend a few bucks in fuel to get there you knock out five yards you make 200 to 300 dollars you turn around you spend a few bucks to go home and that's it you didn't drive all over god's creation you don't make any money as a lawn guy or a pressure washer sitting in this seat you only make it out there working. So you got to keep your house's route density, route discipline. Keep everything close. Keep your fuel cost down. Keep your time in your vehicle down. But that's a different video. So I hope that helps you guys out. Get to cracking. Check out the video at the end of this video. Check out the little thumbnail. It'll pop up. And it's going to be uh, the, how, uh, how to operate the Vista print and stuff like that. And that should help you guys out a lot. All right. Thank you guys very much for all your support. It feels great to be back and answer y'all's questions. And uh, I'm so happy to see you guys back with me. And so until the next one.